please remain seated. The event will begin shortly. I hope you enjoy your stay here in the Glitch Realm. Hey guys, and welcome to our TCG episode. So I'm actually going to be doing uh, the Pokemon TCG here with Pokemon TCG Live. Um, so I'm actually going to try one of the new decks from 151 here. Um, we have Alakazam EX. Uh, I haven't played it before. I actually just got the list kind of sent to me. And then kind of twerked it, looking at some different builds for it. Um, it seems like a lot of the builds are the same. You get your uh, your Alakazam combo here with Rare Candy, Manaphy to protect the bench, and then you got your uh, your Clef Key, your Mimikyu, and your Spiritomb as stallers. And then you have Bidoof and Bibril for the drawing engine. Um, lots of Battle VIP Pass to quickly search out, Escape Rope to switch out, Fog Crystal searches, uh, the Psychic Energies and Psychic Pokemon, Rare Candies for the Evolve, uh, Super Rod, Switch, Ultra Ball, you know, all the basic staples here. Um, now, I'm a big fan of Raihan, so I went ahead and included Raihan here, um, and then Lost City, because I just, I still, I still really like Lost City. Um, Colrus's experiments are good, uh, picking up what I need and getting rid of what I don't. Iono is still just a good staple. Precious Research is such a good staple, and I'm a huge fan of Boss's Orders here. So we got Boss's Orders, um, and then don't really need much energy for the deck. Um, shout outs to Tricky Jim for, uh, actually, like, helping me figure out how much energy I'm supposed to have into this. <laughs> so, seven energy. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna go back here to home. Uh, we're gonna try to get a couple of games in, uh, for, uh, for this one. Um, again, I haven't played it. Uh, I know a lot of people when they go and do, um, their showcase videos for the decks, they just kind of show their wins. If I get two losses, I get two losses. If I get two wins, I get two wins. Uh, so this is going to be me learning the deck, um, which I think will be a good thing to show off because since it's very new to me and I haven't had a lot of practice with it, it kind of shows how easy it is to pick up and use. Um, even though that might not showcase... Um, even though you know it, it showcases how easy it is for someone new to pick up the deck... Flip it a coin. But again, someone who gets a lot of practice, and I think of this in every TCG, you, you can have a deck that, you know, a new player can pick up and they're struggling with it, and it's not so much that the deck isn't good to play. It might actually just be I had no basic Pokemon. Oof. It might just be that the deck takes a lot uh, a lot of extra time to learn the combos and stuff. Okay, so really good hand. So we're going to go ahead and put that out. We're going to go ahead and put the Mimikyu out there. The uh, Abra and the Bidoof. So the Mimikyu, the reason it's important, it has Safeguard. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon attacks from your opponent's Pokemon EX and V. Um, and then it has Ghost Eye. So the reason this deck's really cool, and it's why I'm trying to actually like build build it here, is because of the Alakazam here. Oh, we got another Bidoof. Uh, so the Alakazam here... Actually, is there anything else I can really want to do this turn? I'm going to go ahead and do the Fog Crystal so I can go ahead and get myself a energy. So we have six Psychic Energy in the deck. That means one's over here in the prizes. We'll go ahead and give that there to Abra. And then we'll end our turn. Uh, so the reason the Alakazam is, uh, is good is because of his uh, Dimensional Hand ability. Uh, or attack. This attack can be even used if this Pokemon is on the bench. So... And my jack's also good, uh, but Dimensional Hand, I can have him here on the bench and start targeting my opponent's Mons uh, while I have something like Mimikyu or um, the Klefki out there so I can slowly start picking off everything. My jack's really good, does 30 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, so it's another really good attack if I have to put him out there. Uh, looks like he got another Raikou. He's going to force out the Abra, yeah, because, I mean, why wouldn't you? That's the, that's the perfect one right there. Okay, so that one's going to kind of hurt us a little bit. Dang, we had a really good start. Oh, he didn't take out the Abra. There's our Bibberol. Bibberol's good. Let's go ahead and Rare Candy up the Abra. And then I'm going to... Should I do my industrial? So I'm trying to be a better Pokemon TCG player. Um, I think I'm going to do Bibberol first. So I am going to end up making some mistakes as I play. Oh, there's an escape rope. Okay, so escape rope is what we wanted. So my opponent will choose a new active Pokemon uh, that will more than likely send out that Mareep. Oh no, they went ahead and sent out him. Okay, so we want Mimikyu out there. Um, 
we'll go ahead and put Bivoral out just to be safe. And then I am going to go ahead and Iono. Um, I know it's going to help my opponent as well because they'll get six cards. I really was just looking for that separate energy. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm going to put Mimikyu out here. We're going to Fog Crystal and get my energy right here. And go ahead and put that on Alakazam. Let's go ahead and get another Abra set up too. I have an Iono and a Boss's Order for the next turn. Uh, so now we can use Dimensional Hand. That'll do 120 to the, uh, the Raikou here. And then Raikou can't do damage to my Mimikyu. By the way, if I pronounce any Pokemon's names wrong, I apologize. It's how I've always said it as I've, uh, as like I've grown up. And I know there's some that I completely just mispronounce horribly, horribly mispronounce. Uh, but we got kind of lucky there. They didn't have, uh, our opponent didn't have a way to like boost energy onto their Raikou to take out the Abra. That would have actually hurt us quite a bit. Um, we do have Bibberil now to help us start drawing so we can start pumping up for uh, getting our other pieces. Right now, I think Alakazam's going to be, say Alakazam will hopefully be able to take out this, uh, this Raikou next turn. Oh, they just passed their turn. Okay, we may have actually gotten ourselves an easy first game. Uh, so I'm not even going to, I don't have anything to like attach energies. I don't want Iono right now. Uh, so we're just going to do Dimensional Hand. Take out the Raikou there, and then we're just going to grab our first two prizes. Basic Energy and a Battle VIP Pass. So if we ever get an Ultra Ball, those VIP Passes are just good to be tossed away. We'll, let's see, yeah, we'll attach the Basic Energy to the, uh, to the Abra next turn. All right, so we got another Raikou out there, another Mareep. Boss's orders, what are we forcing out? Okay, so wants to force out our Alakazam. Oh, got no energies off of that Electric Generator. So I also played this Maridon deck. I almost, uh, the Maridon Electric deck. I almost actually put it, uh, did that one for the video for today. But I played it, I played it so much, and I was like, let me give myself something new. So for my first Pokemon, Pokemon, do you hear that? Pokemon. Uh, for my first Pokemon video, Raikou de definitely seemed like the way to go. Okay, so he forced out my Alakazam, um, which, yeah, not super fun. A little, a little sad about that. We're going to attach the energy here. But remember, we have the Mind Jacked attack. Just 30 more damage to your opponent's bench Pokemon. Um... I'm not going to for uh, say I'm not going to force out a switch here. At least not. Oh, yeah. Actually, we are. We're going to boss order out the. Ooh, hang on. Let me reread Flaffy. Attach an energy card from discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Does he have one in there? No. Okay. Yeah. We're going to force out this guy. And we're going to go ahead and do the Mind Jack to do the 20 damage, or to do 180, leaving it with only 20, uh, 20 HP left. That way... Well, dang, for my first time playing this, I'll say I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, I've got the Iono for backup. I had the boss. I had the boss's orders here. Um, electric Generator. Only I'll pull it up for everyone to see. Electric Generator here. Uh, only goes on to a bench electric Pokemon, so forcing that one here, he'd have to force it back and then electric generator and then find a way to get it out. Uh, or he'll do an electric generator and be able to put it all on this other Raikou here. Um, so, not super worried about that. I think, I think I've got this in the bag. Had he played one, had he played one more bench Pokemon, my mind jack would have just one uh, would have okayed the Raikou here. So this is a deck I'm hoping to actually build IRL. Um, I, I really like Alakazam as a as a mon. Uh, Eevee being my favorite Pokemon, you should all know that if you've been watching my Let's Go Eevee playthrough. Uh, we're once again not going to do anything. We're actually just going to straight up Mind Jack and take out the Raikou and pick up our next two prize cards. Easy as that. And we got Raihan and Colress's Experiment. Okay, perfect. Let's see what... He brings out she. I'm sorry. I think that was a. Let's see what they bring out. They. Let's make sure I say my. Let's make sure I say that right. Let's see what they bring out. Looks like my opponent's thinking. Thinking, thinking. See now a now an Iono just doesn't seem like a good idea for me unless I need to make sure I don't deck out because I only have the two prize cards. All right.
Oh, hopefully they didn't step away. Oh, I'm getting the... Oh, I'm getting the loading. I'm hoping my... Okay, I was about to say. Hoping I didn't just crash for no reason. There we go. I was getting a little worried there. Um... I do love Pokemon TCG Live. It I do experience about once a week. It's not very often. Um, about once a week uh, where I, I tend to get like little game bugs where things just take a little slower or um, I have had a couple crashes. Um, but weirdly enough, when playing on my uh, phone, because uh, Pokemon TCG Live has a mobile phone, uh, mobile phone app to where you can play and practice, uh, which I might start doing. Like this one was just kind of a spur of the moment. Let's build. Let's build something new. And I went off of a lot of different people's um, how they were building it, what they were doing, to kind of get some good advice on what I needed to do. Um, so I, that's I guess I need to go ahead and put that uh, disclosure out there. I take no credit for this deck build whatsoever. Um, this is based on multiple designs. I think it's actually like for a couple different people. This is like exactly how they built their decks as well. Um, all right. We got the win. Opponent was inactive for too long. I don't think we were we had too much to worry about going there. Um, our opponent they did real they did really good, um, especially with helping to showcase off the deck. So we got our win there. Oh, I actually, you guys are gonna get to see here. So I already finished the premium pass here for this one. We finished our dailies. Let's go ahead and collect all that. I want as many gold coins and as many of. Uh, our little crystals as I can get here. All right, so we're gonna do one more match with uh, with that one. That was a lot of fun to play. I really did enjoy that. Um, but back with what I was saying before, I uh, I don't take any uh, I don't take any credit for um, for this deck build or anything uh, or anything like that. Uh, this uh, say this I definitely used uh, definitely had a lot of help and did a lot of research when looking on how to build it. Um, but either way. Really, I say, really fun deck to play. I've had, I've had no issues with it. Give me one second while it's going through that. My opponent's deciding what they want to do. Oh, I just realized something. Hmm. Okay, so I, once again, I've got no basic Pokemon in my hand. So we are waiting to set up there a little bit. Let my opponent finish setting up, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so let's see what we start with. Not the best start having to throw an Abra out there right away. Um, we've got Colress, we've got Professor's Research, Iono, Ultra Ball, we got the basic energy. What are we playing against? Oh! Um, the Unity Wing deck. I also have this one built. I really do like this deck. Okay, so if we can get our setup on this, we actually um, we might be able just to like take wins here. Um, the Mimikyu and the Clef Keys and stuff aren't going to be as helpful because uh, there is no like EXs. It's actually all basic one price Pokemon, but they do have to get some in the drop. Now that Mimikyu right there is going to be a tough one because it can prevent uh, it can prevent us from getting a win there but we can try to boost up our own Mimikyu to go ahead and get the wins here okay so they're setting up to go ahead and start getting some unity wings out there um, we're gonna go ahead and attach an energy here to Abra we're gonna Cole Ress's uh, experiment okay well I definitely want those three um, Lost City will actually be my best friend. I don't want to play the Lost City yet. Um, we're actually just going to go ahead and do Psy Shot. And then next turn, we're going to Ultra Ball. I should have Ultra Balled this turn. Um, but next turn, we're going to Ultra Ball and get the Alakazam and put the other energy as long as we don't lose the Abra here. Oh, man. How many did it get in there? One, two, three. Isn't it? Okay. Yeah, if they get one more in there. Oh no, Abra, Abra goes. Abra goes down on this one. Yikes. So the reason I wanted to grab the Lost City, um, like absolutely wanted the Lost City, was for 
uh, to start putting the dittos in there. Once they run out of the dittos, I don't have to actually, I don't have to worry as much. Um, does he require me to put it on my active Pokemon? Attach it to one of your basic Pokemon. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go up here to, uh, to Bibarel. We're going to... Hmm. I know I'm going to Ultra Ball for sure. I just don't know if I'm going to... What I'm going to Ultra Ball away. I know I'm not going to be using the... I think I'm going to give up on the Lost City plane here and I'll get rid of the Refresher's Research. We're going to go ahead and do Abra here. We'll pull Abra back out. We'll go ahead and attach the energy to it. We'll go ahead and do Raihan because Raihan lets me search for any card. And I'm going to grab a rare candy so I can prep for an Alakazam next turn. Um, actually, yeah, because I know I just played that ever. What am I thinking? Yeah, so rare candy. We'll go ahead and do Bibberol here. Get out the Mimikyu. And then we'll just end our turn. Um, just got to hope he doesn't get anything too, too crazy. Uh, we'll definitely be able to Ultra Ball next turn, get the Alakazam. Uh, well, he can't pull anything out, so he's got to discard to draw, but now that, that means he'll probably be pumping up more. Yep. So now I think he can do 100 damage with his... Uh, 100 damage with the Unity Wing attack here. Yep. Okay, so we might end up losing Bibberol. Uh, this is going to be a lot of like one prize, uh, one prize fighting here. So I'm going to do battle VIP. I'm going to get rid of the boss's order here. We'll go ahead and get our Alakazam. We will rear candy up, and then we'll go ahead and do industrious uh, incisor to go ahead and get more cards. Okay, and then we have a we have a lost city. Perfect. And then there's another big roll to start prepping us for later. All right, so now we're gonna do the uh, dimensional hand. Now the ditto will end up going into the lost zone, so we don't have to worry about him getting it back because that's gonna be a huge part of what the uh, what the uh, deck's gonna try to do is try to keep getting ba is try to keep getting uh, the dittos back, so that way they can keep using the moves. Um, and we're just gonna keep trying to take out the uh, take out the ditto. And then get him sent to the lost zone, so that way they can't bring him back. So that's kind of my uh, the, that's kind of my counter um, to this right now is to try to get rid of the dittos so to where they can't get him back. Um, Bibberol is for sure going to go down on uh, on this one, which is a shame. I really didn't want Bibberol to go. I do like the plus thing in the drawing here. Um, we're going to go ahead and just throw out Mimikyu. And then let's see, we drew, we drew another rare candy. Can't do the Raihan. Let's go ahead and do the Iono here. Um, I'll draw five of my opponent when we put it four. Let's see. Okay, perfect. So we're going to Fog Crystal, and we're going to grab... Oh, hang on. Let me look here. Baseball Pokemon play with using your opponents have no uh, abilities. And then Pokemon V and play have no abilities. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab another Abra just to possibly set up on a... Uh, set up on another Alakazam later if we need to. We have Colores Experiment for the next turn. We're going to go ahead and do dim uh, Dimensional Hand. Get that Ditto in the Lost Zone. And there's our other Alakazam. All we need is a... Uh, all we need is that other energy I have in my hand. The uh, We need a rare candy. All right, so here comes the Mimikyu. Mimikyu was the one I was a little concerned with because I believe it says, yeah, your opponent Pokemon's EX and V. All right, so they did Bill. I mean, he's already got an energy attached to their Mimikyu, so... Yep, so that uh, that Mimikyu will be able to take out my uh, take out my Mimikyu, so that might be what actually hurts me in the long run here. Oh no, it's two Dark Energies. It has to have a Psychic Energy. 
So this is why I need to pay attention. I don't think I can damn let me see if I can quickly get my mimic you up. We'll go ahead and call Ress's experiment here. Um I'm gonna grab Super Rod. Uh I don't really need the other Alakazam because I have one. I would like the Iono and the other Cult Rest. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, see, I'll do no damage with Dimensional Hand, so really what I'm looking for is another energy. So we'll just end our turn here. If I can get one more energy, then uh, our Mimikyu will be able to take out their Mimikyu. Their deck shouldn't be running any Psychic Energies, because uh, the only attacks that require energy is the... Uh, Oh my gosh, if I could talk. The only attacks that they the only attacks they have either require any energy or dark energy because of the Murkrow. So their deck shouldn't be running any psychic energy, so I don't think their Mimikyu should be able to go off. I was a little worried it would, but after playing a second dark energy on it, now I'm kind of convinced uh, that they don't have... Okay, there's the Ditto. Now I'm kind of convinced that they don't have a psychic energy in the deck. So... Let's see, are you going to switch out with the Ditto here? Do you have another Dark Energy? Because if you do, then there goes my Mimikyu. Yep, there's the Dark Energy. Okay, so yeah, they're going to retreat so that way they can take out my Mimikyu. So I might not evolve my, uh, I might not evolve my Average just yet. Just in case I need to handle the, uh, the Mimikyu there. Um, I'll, this is tough. I'll go ahead and push my Abra out. And I think I just want to go ahead and do the Dimensional Hand. Get rid of the Ditto here. Put him in the Lost Zone. I'll grab my third prize card, which is a Battle VIP Pass. That's not going to help us too much. That'll just be discard fodder. Let's see what they push up. If they push up anything besides Mimikyu, I will just say I'll just end up taking it out. So we've gotten three of their... Because I know I have some of the Lost Zone too. Yeah, my Mimikyu, my Alakazam, all those. Okay. Um, but I've gotten rid of three of the Dittos. So could possibly have four. Here's an Ultra Ball, so maybe we'll see the fourth. Do we have a fourth ditto? Well, that was a level ball. Couldn't they? Have? Well, well, and they didn't discard any of the unity wings, so maybe they were just trying to thin out their hand. Okay, there's the fourth ditto. Um, getting rid of that ditto should actually kind of solidify what I need to uh, to win this one. Um, other than just like putting regular energies on that, because like I said, all of them except for the Murkrow require like two of any energy color and so that would mean um if they can get a murkrow it only takes one which is why ditto is able to copy that one um i am a little bummed i'm about to lose the uh the abra again i won't lie i'll go ahead and move up bibberal here Okay, so that's a rare candy. Let's go ahead and Fog Crystal and see what else is in my deck. Um, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and grab. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab Clef Key here. Clef Key might be able to help us out here in the future, and then we're just gonna go ahead and Dimensional Hand. We're gonna end up tying on prizes here right now. Hey guys, welcome back. So we did have, uh, I did have an issue here. Um, the, uh, say it looks like my OBS crashed while we we're in the middle of losing the Abra here. Um, nothing much changed. They threw, uh, say they threw out the watch roll here. Um, I was really trying to quickly get my, my OBS back up and everything. Um, 
So hopefully I didn't make any misplays there. Uh, so yeah, I do apologize. That was really weird. I'd, I'd heard an alert and then I looked and it was like, oh, OBS crashed. And I was like, oh, well, let me get that fixed really quick. So that way we, uh, that way we don't lose anything here. Um, but it looks like we're, uh, say we're coming up to the end of it. They, they went ahead and just threw out the, um, the watch roll there for me just to take down. Uh, they're, they're drawing, say they're drawn into their deck a little bit more. I think my, I think my option here is just to start giving the, uh, the energies I'll slowly collect to, um, probably this, uh, Mimikyu that I got out of my prizes just now, now that I think about it, because I do have, I do have, like, switch cards and stuff like that. Oh, they do run Psychic Energies. Okay. So, we definitely want to get my Mew up to, up to snuff here. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, Alakazam's not going to be able to do any damage, though. We will just end our turn. So, if they can get one more energy, they've got me there. And then we lose Bidoof. Sad day. Let's see if they have that last energy. Um, that was really weird. I don't think I've ever had OBS crash on me. That I won't lie, guys. That worried me a little bit there. Um, hopefully, you like the new layout I'm going with. Uh, it's... Um, say i i personally feel like i'm always kind of stuck in like a glitched realm of things and so that's kind of what i've decided to call just this little channel is just the uh, the glitch realm here um so in the glitch realm we do tcgs we do let's plays we just uh we just try to have a lot of fun all right so he's getting his last prize card i'm throwing out Mimikyu here there should be at least one energy left in the deck unless i draw it nope there's the escape rope all right so we're gonna grab our last energy here um, so, Alakazam, MVP of this, but looks like Mimikyu is also making sure to secure us our second win, showing off the Alakazam, uh, the Alakazam deck. So, I'm really happy with that. Let's take our last prize card here. An Ultra Ball. This was a lot of fun to play. I'm glad we got to do this one all the way up to the end. That was actually really fun going back and forth, especially with the Mimikyu stopping the, Al uh, the Alakazam EX. That Mimikyu card is one of my favorite uh, cards that's in the current uh, that's in the current rotation right now. Um, but guys, that was a, a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed that. As you can see, I, I'm not very high level. I don't really do a lot of the ranks or anything like that. Uh, I don't rank as much. I just kind of play and complete my dailies. And just kind of go and just kind of go with that, um, but I might start do, trying to do some rank ladder climbing uh, in the future on my free time. I have so many different games that have a rank ladder, so I'm just not 100% sure if I want to go ahead and invest a lot of time, especially with me. Like I work a full time job, and then I'm trying to do this, and I'm trying to get back into the TCG scene, which has been kind of hard. Also, I'm, I'm studying up on um, on a new thing in my life and trying to improve um, and hit the gym. So, kind of give myself a busy schedule for this next year for sure. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, go ahead, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, Comment-wise, if you don't mind, if there's a deck you'd like to see built, I do have a knack for deck building. This one was one of my one of the first times in a while that I've just kind of been like, okay, let me see what other people have going on out here. Um, deck building is one of my favorite things to do in a lot of the games, uh, a lot of the TCGs I play. So if there's a deck that you're just like, hey, I'd like to see a deck built around this, um, I'd like the challenge. I'd like to see what I could do. But anyways, guys, thanks for so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching the channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We hope you have enjoyed your time in the Glitch Realm.